Y'all, today's Dollar Tree haul is so cute, okay? So cute. Let's start with glitter stickers. They are so adorable. With these, you get anywhere from 25 to 33, it looks like. And this one is just plain snowflakes, but it has a little bit of that glimmer on it. But these aren't gonna be, um, the glitter wouldn't, shouldn't come off, I wouldn't think. Let me see. No, it doesn't really come off like some of the other things. I don't really see it coming off, but so. But I got these just to um, do a few DIYs and also to journal and do my planner with. But these would be great for Winter Wonderland. You can add these to a mirror. They should, I would think they would stick to a mirror. Cause I mean, they're just stickers. Um, and then you could put like a cute little saying in it and then just kind of surround these by it. That'd be adorable. This next one has snowflakes and the Christmas trees, the little reindeer, the snowman and the red bows. That is adorable. I really wish they had gingerbread. If y'all see, if y'all see a gingerbread, please let me know because I'm gonna get it. And then this one has just the trees, the snowflakes, and the red bows. Um, great to DIY with and journal with. I have gotten into junk journaling. I'm sure you've heard me mention a few times that has really helped with my anxiety, um, and I just love it. I've always been a journal girl and I've always done like my planners. I do a bunch of stickers in my planners, but I just recently learned about junk journaling, so I'm all for it. And speaking of that, I also got this gingerbread. They're felt little gingerbreads or gingerbread men that I thought would be just cute. So you actually, it's a DIY ornament kit, but this would be cute to have just like as a tassel hanging off your journal or your planner or even just like any kind of notebook that you carry around and keep notes in during the holidays or your shopping list. That'd be cute just to kind of have it hanging on there. But you just put the little um, felt like his body pieces on him. It comes with all that and the little string. I don't remember if these were out last year. Let me know if you remember them, because maybe I just didn't see them. <clears throat> so these are great activities for your, for the kids on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, if you have family over, you know, you have a few little kitty, kiddos over, that'd be great. And then um, you could even take these and string them like garland, which maybe I'll do that. I don't know if y'all have seen these signs this year. Oh no, it gets better. This one, what, Santa's workshop? Oh wait. Y'all, Candy Cane Land. Are those not adorable? I love it, and look at the gingerbread man in there. Ugh. This took me out. I was shook. So much that I got a second one. <clears throat> but I have an idea. Oh, you can pluck these little arrows off, plucking this one off, and then plucking one of these off. You could do the arrows, and then taking even like this or this one on the top and putting it up there on like the top of the stick. That would be cute. I love them, and they, uh, the glitter lining is, it is really pretty. Yes, it comes off, but it's still pretty. This one is my absolute favorite though. I love that they've started adding in the gingerbread this year a lot more than the previous years. And I, I'm here for it. I am here for it. My next items up are treat bags. I only grabbed two. I want to say there was a third design, but I believe it was gnomes, I think. And I don't decorate with gnomes, but this is 
the cutest little snowman. I don't know, it just, it's such a classic snowman. And I really like these bags, but they're great for um, like little Christmas little baggies. If you wanna add some candy in here, add little gifts. If you have a Christmas birthday party for the kiddos, you just add them in there, roll them up. Cookies you wanna to send to school. There's eight count in here, but, and they're kind of, yeah, they're a little see-through. They have that frosted look to them, but these are also gonna be great for crafting with and journaling with because you can just cut these in half and use this as a background. You could even put it in like a um, envelope window to kind of have it a covering. That would be great. So I like those. And then these, y'all, these are my absolute favorite. These are so cute. The gingerbread on it. And the Christmas tree. Ugh. The Christmas tree is perfection. I'm not, it's the cutest thing. If next time you go, just look at these. Just look at them and tell me it's not perfection. It's so pretty. This is by far my favorite. I wanna decorate everything in this. <laughs> oh, they came out with their little like tubs. And this one has all gingerbread on it. Look at it. it is that not the cutest? It's like the girl and the boy gingerbread. Oh, I just loved it. You could keep with this, not only do the cookies, if you put some cute little wrapping paper in there and you could put cookies for your neighbors, teachers, but you could also keep like your sugar in here by your coffee bar, your hot cocoa bar, you can coffee. But can you imagine even just like the sugar Behind it, it'll look like snow. I also picked up these stamps and they're a eight count and they have a snowman, I love Santa, a gingerbread man, a Christmas tree, a truck, a reindeer, a snowflake, and a present. And these are the only ones I could find. Um, I tried to look to see if there was other designs that I could not. So if you have found any other design, let me know because I'll keep my eye out otherwise. But I like these, these are gonna be great for journaling. If you do any Christmas um, cards, like old school Christmas cards and actually mailing them out, you could stamp these with the um, exactly where you close the envelope the outside. That would be really cute. And I'm sure they would love that extra little touch of sentimental, you know, like, it's cute, it's a little character, adds a little character. I also picked up these gift tags to craft with. They have 18 in a pack. So two of each of the same one. I wish they would have given us like some on this side and different ones on this side, but I mean, I can't be greedy here. But these have such a vintage look to it, this pack. This is more of like that um, little bit of farmhouse, but also the classic Christmas colors. That plaid's pretty, but I like that candy cane. But they just open up really cute. Just, this snowman and this, um, I had to make sure they were on the same, because the ones here are flip flops, but, <clears throat> The present in the sleigh is just the cutest. And the candy cane, I love it. It looks like a little stamp on top of it. And it's actually a extra layer. So if you don't want to use this for the name tags or to even have it like that, you can always pluck this off to um, craft with, to journal, to plan. Um, even DIY, these would be cute to DIY with actually, to give it that stamp. Doing a, oh, you know what? If you make a faux big like 
letter to Santa. You know how I, I'm sure you've seen them out that the wooden decor pieces. But if you pluck this top thing off and actually put it in the st on the stamp area, that would look really good that way. Actually, it really would. Speaking of Santa, I picked up these napkins to Mod Podge with. They have such a classic classic vintage Santa. They are magnificent. They genuinely captured the perfect vintage Santa. I was very impressed. And you get 24 pieces. 24 for $1.25. Like, you can't beat that prop. Picked up this snowflake is red and silver. It's so pretty. It's 10 sheets in here, so you get um, the snowflakes and white. I think those are the only two that are in here. So it might be five and five, I think. But they're very pretty. They almost give you like that, it kind of gives me that candy cane lane vibe which is why i got it but it also gives me like that disney mickey mouse vibe so if you're doing any kind of disney stuff you might want to look at this and consider it it's very pretty i love that little specks of silver on there it's so cute let me just open this up for you so you can see It's so pretty. Oh, <clears throat> these whites are not plain white. No, they have polka dots. What is this about? Why are they blue? I guess it's like, it's supposed to be little snow dots. They're blue and silver. <clears throat> I guess so it gives a little color. So there's, is that the only one? That don't even make no sense. Like two of them. The red and silver is really pretty though. This is just so random. That is not what I expected to be in the middle of that. But regardless, still cute. Now this tree, so pretty. I just fell in love with that. I actually got this so I could decoupage a few items because I just thought it such like a classic green and that classic Christmas tree. I don't know how else to say that or explain it because it's just phenomenal. Two different greens. You have like a darker green and a lighter, brighter green, whichever way you want to go about it. Calling it the trees. Y'all, the trees. If you're more of like, do a lot of greens for Christmas, you wanna get this. I don't know. I, I just think of like, like, being in a cabin for Christmas. Moving on, I found these window clings. I couldn't find, I know they have some that are double-sided, so they'll have some on one side and some on the other. But I couldn't find the ones that I liked. I only found like gnome ones or something and I don't get those. So I got these window clings instead because I don't remember them being ever long this way. Do you? Let me know. Let me, I really don't. I only know of like the square ones that are like, act like square instead of rectangular. But I just really like these. I thought they were adorable. The, the gingerbread, I, it, they got me this year. They just got me. And this cup, this cup is really what got me though. It says Joe or Joy, Joe. I thought it said like cup of Joe. No, just Joy, but it's got little gingerbread on it. Now I like this one because of the Santa. Look at that face again. It's just, they did really good on him. And look, they have him flat. He looks so real. And then the tree, is that the same tree? It's the same tree! That is 
the same tree as the tissue paper. And it says the merriest season. They did good. There's, this is a more realistic window decorations to me than any of their other ones they've ever done. I don't remember them doing like this more realistic. It's the only way I can wrap them. Now moving on to these cute gift tags. I don't ever remember seeing things like this. I don't ever remember seeing these at all last year. I love that they have these cute little bells they added on there. So it just gives it that character and they're Greenbrier, so they should be easier to find at y'all stores. But look at that gingerbread house. The gingerbread, and then you have two mason jars with the gingerbread and tree in them. But you don't have to use these as just gift tags. You can use these in your junk drawer, your planners, your, your Bible, your book. You can use it as a bookmark. Either, any way you want to. But I just thought they were cute and they were different to me. And these are more the more fun. Um, you have the gingerbread man, the Santa, the poinsettia. Y'all, the cool thing about these is they actually are like plucked up, but they're stickers. So you have the same thing underneath, but it's a sticker under there. And then it's like the clear part that pops it up. I thought that was cute. My next few items I got were Christmas cards because they're cute and I craft with them. This one says, sister, you're so special to me. Obviously, I don't have to use that part. I can just cover it up, add a sticker, just cut it off. I can even just cut like right there. But it's pink and it has the gingerbread and it's got a little bit of glitter. I mean, I'm talking about barely any, but just enough on the white and the red and like the snowflakes. But I thought it was really pretty. I, I love me some pink. If you can't tell, I love pink. I made this shirt and oh, so cute. And then the inside I thought was pretty too. So I could always cut like some of this out, the little pink part. You could cover this up right on that if you like to journal with it, or you could even frame this one if you wanted to. This one, I I could not, I, y'all, I know very little Spanish, very little, but I could not turn this Santa face away. It says Feliz Navidad, and it's, written in Spanish on the inside, but I could always cover that up, but I love the outline of this. But the Santa's face is just so vintage. It's got the tiniest amount of glitter around his hat and like on his white, the, like the glove part. This card is beautiful. If, if you're gonna get a card to like um, DIY or to craft with in any form or fashion, this one's the one. I love these little guys. These are the hand or the specialty ones that are in this packaging. So those are 50 cents each and these are still, or these are $1.25. But I just love the little snowman. Look at it, he's upside down. <laughs> Says, oh, what fun. I mean, not a lot there. And then they always have like the little picture on the back, but I like them. And then I got two of the same one because I want to journal with it and then possibly craft with it. But I love, it has like little pop-up, like the gingerbread right here, he's a pop-up. The star, the jewel, and the snowman. This is another one to put on your list especially if you love gingerbread or just like the little candies, the little Christmas candies or cupcakes, I don't know. I just loved it. And the peppermint and the snowman's on the back. And guys, these are bags, but they're like 
they're giant bags. Now I'm going to show you the difference. So I loved this one because of the gingerbread. So I got two. I wanted to craft with it. And look at this design, guys. I really thought this was pretty. I love the houses. It's just so cute. Can you imagine crafting with this? Or if you fill it up, put it under your tree. I don't know. But it's huge. It's like as big as my TV here. This one's just called a giant gift bag. That one. Now, this one is a bike bag. A bike bag. Did you know that? I was like, what? I don't even have no kids to give a bike to. But I liked it. I thought it was cute and it's not it's a little see-through that's what I was checking that's why I wanted to open it to see but I love the design from it this thing is massive guys massive so if you sorry about the noise if you're doing any traveling you need to throw stuff in there or a bike or a big box that you don't want to wrap here it is this is what to go and get Look at this, guys. This is something you can 100% frame. You just take those off. You can even throw bows on there. Throw this in a picture frame. Put it in your kitchen. It'll be cute. And then it's got the just the candy cane on the side and the green. It's like outlined in green. It's like this green right here. I just thought it was cute. It would go with my theme. Even if I put it under my tree just to go with my theme. That would be cute. And then the very last thing that I got was these gift boxes. Guys, you get two of these, two big ones. But I'm gonna show you why I got it. So here's the Santa one. Oh, look, I didn't even know it had candy cane on it. I love that. That's just pretty. Are you ready for the other one? The main reason I got it. It has candy cane on it as well, but look how pretty that is. I just thought it was really pretty. Can you imagine framing this? Like framing it, putting it above your TV or anything? Thank you so much for watching. I have really appreciated you guys. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe, like my video. I have really enjoyed doing this and I hope to go forward like continuously and get on a regular schedule with you guys. And I am just really thankful. I am loving it. All right, bye guys, thanks.